Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Today is November 14, 2022. It is 4 a.m. Exactly 4 a.m. I was not going to record. I have a place to go today. And I was just laying down and looking at the ceiling. And I said, you know, let me go record some stuff. Because yesterday after I finish edit whatever I record in the morning, uh, I give my husband the computer and I work with my son. He has tests coming up. So I didn't want to create new tweets, uh, new videos where I don't have time to edit, but I was just staying at the ceiling. And throughout the day, I was on my phone looking at Twitter, off and on, not totally. And there was some stuff that was going on and uh, I decided to share with you. So I'm gonna be talking about Kate. So I have four of these, one on William. There were a lot, but I just picked one out of it. One on William. Uh, seven on heavy and to be on Megan all right so let's go on Twitter we're gonna start with Kate okay so there's this no word whatsoever so it's a copy of the mirrors front page and this is how they showing um, Kate image I, I wasn't really gonna talk about it but when I saw it and people were talking about it a lot so i said you know what let me just cover it for the sake of it you make your own judgment okay i'm not here to criticize i'm here to share with you what twitter is talking about all right so there's my comment here five hours ago and i said what in the name why they had to do this to her like this they made her look like she's about to follow betty okay you all know Karen supporters are demanding to speak to mirror manager there's the laugh omg what did they do to kate I can't believe it's still up on their Twitter. Uh, so they got it on Twitter. Uh, what is it? Their page, their Twitter page, mirror Twitter page. Someone getting fired tomorrow. 
And the thing is, she's done nothing for a military, really. But heaven forbid, say, she shouldn't have. Okay, is this real? I think so. There's that. Did they edit her to look worse or is it that her actual face? <laughs> She's like, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's what that means. They never put a foot wrong. Media is turning on her. Although we can't know for sure what goes on behind closed doors. It seems as though they're trying to soften up the public for a formal separation, but trying to avoid Kate get the sympathy Diana got. I mean, In a way, yes, but I've been saying that a long time ago. The picture that shows was that uh, I think Rose, who was in the palace working with somebody. Um, I think the squad have spoke spoken about that particular person. I have the image. I could see the image in my head as I'm saying this. But look at the screen as I'm saying this thing. Okay, Rose was somewhere like in a palace. There was a red carpet or whatever. The minute that I saw that picture. I was like, oh my God, it looks like they're showing her ropes around the palace. Like showing her around how thing is done. That's what I said back then. And then ever since then, other things keep on happening. Sometimes I hold my breath or sometimes I cut them out. And I think she's already in that spot. Okay. They will never announce a separation or divorce. They just can't. I think they will rather fill in the blanks. That's uh, That way there's no divorce. Yeah, whatever Betty had with uh, Philip, probably the same thing gonna go. Ha uh, it's gonna happen. All right. So the other one probably don't wanna be seen all front and you know get demolished by the papers. So she's like, I don't mind. The other one stays there and whatever. But then again, like I said, the the other brother follows the father's footstep, and you're seeing almost the same thing happening. Oh, so that's the real picture. Oh shit, oh man, she's dying inside. She's probably heartbroken inside. Wow, there's the yikes face. Not so far from the real her though. Girl is aging fast. Yeah, she's probably going through some stuff inside. Wow, maybe there was some crying going on and then you're seeing it now. Oh my Lord. I sort of feel for her, but at the same time, if you had team up with, you know, back Megan up, I know it's hard over there, but my goodness, this is a real photo. There's the face again. Wow. I don't know what's going on behind closed doors because she looks like she aged 40 years in the last four weeks. Oh my God. Okay. That's what she gets for cosplaying two dead women, Diana and the queen. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Okay. Yikes. They did her dirty. But if that's the real image, I don't know. But no, 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 no. All right, so if this is the real image, that's Getty's image. Okay. But this is what they put here. They probably, uh, the lighting, they probably uh, play with it a little bit. But I don't think it's that much of a difference. Oh my God. She probably was crying. Yes. There was some crying going on, I think. And she's trying to hold on right now. I think that's what it is my god okay what did they do to that picture she looks about 70. you know the voters are in spinning their wheels right now trying to find a way to blame megan for this uh, megan has nothing to do with this <laughs> okay no airbrushing oh my god there's this okay so there's more of this oh so that's good now they, there's one side by side okay it's same as the original just slightly darker on mirror front page yeah, they play with the with the lighting on that on Photoshop. That's the only thing they did. Let's see, can we see it all at once, or is it gonna be one at a time? Ah, it's gonna be one at a time. Yeah, I think she's trying to hold on from not crying. Yeah, they play with the lighting. That's all they did. What's the term they use on Photoshop? Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Let's go to the next one. It's almost the same topic on Kate. Let's see here. There's that. Only Kate Middleton is barely educated, lazy woman living on welfare can get praise for spending £14,500 on a piece of jewelry during a course of living crisis. Imagine if it was, <laughs> there's that, white woman, you need to have serious talk among yourselves. All right, so there's that. You are for no more. The bush was for sale in January 2022 and listed at £14,500. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know.
It's like, why are you even mentioning this? Okay, I love this because so many butches are being broken up to make rings, earrings. I'm a big butch fan. Had lovely chat with a fellow butch fan, Camilla, and a great ID. Okay, and great ID. Uh, surely a 40th birthday present. What a beautiful piece. Okay, it's gorgeous and nice. Nice size. Well done on ID. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, for all the Kate Middleton stands coming here to argue with me, please read the tweet again because I say you should talk among yourselves. <laughs> the shade the squad be throwing. Also, all of them telling me she went to school. I know. Hey, I spoke about this a lot on my channel. Just because you go to school, that doesn't mean hey, much. Uh, it's what's in the head. How you, you know, do things. All right, let's see here. Also, all of them telling me she went to school. I know an art major who thought Faberge eggs were still being made, but at least none of you disagree that she is lazy. That's progress. <laughs> the cost doesn't matter. She is the right shade to wear expensive things. Mm -mm -mm. Barely educated. She has a degree from one of the best universities in the country. She hasn't been Kate Middleton since 2011. Since her marriage, she's devoted her life to public service. She's patron of around 25 charities and doesn't draw an income. Her charities are closing. <laughs> That's not comment. No like. Let's see here. Maybe you lot are uh, blown away by the tokenism she stand for and are quick to parrot, but that doesn't fly with me. And until I see a formal notice stating the name change, she is Kate Middleton. Please and thank you. Not sure what you mean by you lot. Your tweet came up in my feed and I correctly factual error. A marriage certificate is an official document used sometimes we need to throw back the same thing they be throwing at megan and there it is making sense okay using for name change in the uk my name legally changed when i marry my husband i use mine to change my name at work bank etc that's the same thing all right you need to throw these back at them sometime common sense and then they give you the reality of pretty much the same thing with megan let's see here uh by you lad she means delusional royalist who think the British media were incredibly kind to Megan and that people should admire Kate for being the world highest paid Stepford wife. <laughs> Let's see here. The British press has been incredibly kind to Megan and reporting and giving the couple a lot of privacy. When was that? 2020? Nah. The same can be said for the international press. If she feels hard done by Indo UK, it'll be 10 times worse if they move elsewhere look at this we're gonna talk about harry right now who for the memorial of uh, is it v-day uh that was on the 11th he went around nobody knew until they reported it okay it's instigated by megan what uh the rest of the family weren't informed about the decision at all and were surprised by the press release the sussex made okay 2020 okay is it when they said they were gonna leave or they left already by that time mm mm, -mm. Okay, I was a huge Megan. Please, you were never. Okay, there's no way if you were her friend for you to change uh, automatically. Was that's the keyword. I was a huge Megan fan until the announcement yesterday. She's gone way out of line and it's inappropriate. She been gaslighting Harry for a while to the point where he doesn't resemble the person he once was. 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 He doesn't resemble the person he once was.
he doesn't resemble the person he once was. He doesn't resemble the person he once was. He doesn't resemble the person he once was. I will always, I will always protect my family, and now I have a family to protect. Like Harry's past was so great. Look how Harry is right now. Oh my God! Yeah, you were never a Megan's fan. If the world were reversed, feminists would be screaming. I think most feminists are pretty much in line with Megan. Clearly, you're not a monarchist. Her Majesty the Queen has been treated appalling by not being consulted. Royal family aside, they just piss off his grandma because Meghan is being selfish. You see, from the time there, September 1st, 2020, till now, what we know now, okay, Betty had no problem with them. They went to visit without even telling anybody. How did it feel being back? Um, being with her? Mm -hmm. Being with her, it was great. It was, it was just so nice to see her. You know, she's on, she's on great form. We always, she's always got a great sense of humor with, uh, with me, and I'm just making sure that she's, you know, protected and got the, the right people around. Well, her. you, you make her laugh. That's what she always says. Uh, I, did you do it again? Uh, yes, yeah, I did. Uh, both <laughs> Megan and I had tea with her, so it was, it was really nice to catch up with her. <laughs> Megan and I had tea with her, so it was, it was really nice to catch up with her. And you know, home, home for me now is, is, is you know, for the time being, it's in, it's in the, it's it's in the states. states. Okay, we are such a great team. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, squad are good. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see here. Then the universe. Okay. Then the university place was obvious wasted on her. This is a woman who's been a member of one of the richest family in the world with access to countless resources. And from what I can see, she can barely string two sentences together with confidence. It's painful to watch. You know, I, I'm not trying to take side of her from things that I, I think they're putting the institution, putting so much pressure on her to be such a person that she's not where she can't even talk. <laughs> but she chased the guy for 10 years. She should have known at least what to expect at the same time. Okay, everyone can be a patron, but does she works for the patron? Remember, one of them said she only had contact. <laughs> with them after eight years of neglect yeah they only she only came out that time because megan had done something on that you know during that week to one of her patrons and then she find that she had to come out and then they told her it's been eight years i have that clip i'll show it to you thank you nice to see you again i was just looking at she's been a while since i last visited so um yeah definitely when when things get back to normal i'd love to come and Say hello to the team and everyone down there as well. I think it was 2012 that you were were last here. No. I think it was 2012 that you were were last here. No. Uh, it only seems like yesterday, Graham. It shows you how quickly time goes. All right. Uh, so, and then some of her the charities are closing off, or uh, they have already closed off. Uh, the screenshots that I have, they've been there for a while. She supported circa 500 professional bodies, other organizations and charities over her lifetime, inheriting many when her father died and she became queen. What is that? Okay, the queen, the queen. That, they're talking about the queen. Many will in turn be handed to Catherine when she become queen. Her majesty the queen was 96 when she died. Okay. There is a difference between going to school and being educated. Sure, she went to school, university would have called it top, but there is nothing to show that she is educated. Mm-hmm. Okay, not her words, work 
action, achievement, nothing. So yes, yeah, Kate Middleton is barely educated. <laughs> I realize now that you are a troll account. Check out the link. St. Andrews just knocked Oxford and Cambridge off the top spot and at least one league table. School finished at 18 in the UK, continuing to use her maiden names. Uh, what is it? Over a decade after she got married is lazy. Okay. Ah, uh, let me move on. All right. So I ended up reading most. There's more, but I'm not going to read anymore. Um, most of the comments under that tweet next one there's that oof <laughs> there's v <laughs> she just said oof and then there's a copy of that my goodness okay wow there's me here girl your simple caption always hit the mark lol there's the shade that's my response on her all right next one this is my last one under kate all right, so this is a squaddy who's throwing the shit. I could be petty and do a post about, quote, what I ordered and what I got. But we don't move like that, so I'll just post of what I ordered only. <laughs> and that's the painting the nail polish. Okay, that was my first thought when I saw. See, you don't need tacky jewelry to glow. Yep, that's the store. Duchess Megan always look good, even when the press mess with her pics. Mm-hmm that is true it's a beautiful thing what we ordered there's a heart praise okay i thought i saw what i thought i saw there's that they're talking about the same image okay there's a heart okay the original right okay she stay copying megan and looking a whole hot mess why who is telling her yeah the duchess eyes just shine they are full of light and brightness she just glow but sorry to say that it's not the same for her sister-in-law the shine in her eyes has gone yeah when she first married the uh, into the warm family the other one not megan the other one she looked healthy and everything but i don't know what she thought the institution was is not what it is they just like drain everything out of her all right next tweet there's that now there's more pictures about this um the first one but i can't find it so i didn't want to waste time so this is the only thing that i came up that i saw on my likes so i decided to pick it because it's pretty much illustrate everything that i was gonna say let me read that and then i'll get into the detail of the image okay but tomorrow lady c gonna give us more detail about harry and megan's life in monticito with her without her so throughout the day that's all i was seeing okay the picture of him in the car where uh there's the the picture that i saw originally had the driver and a bodyguard sitting i think it's a bodyguard okay sitting in the front okay and he's chatting with them look at how happy he is and everything now the first picture that she showed now they probably going to whatever event okay look at his face all right this is the thing here look at his face wow 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 damn why did you ask her to marry you if you didn't like her i don't understand these people wow okay in this episode we see kk karen has ditched the morticians award brand pancake makeup in favor of megan's choice but class the duchess is sussex is often imitated but never duplicated okay same day they are definitely not living together my goodness really don't like either of them i know kids are involved but they both look utterly miserable together they should divorce asap i know harry and his brother struggle but i know he will want his brother to be happy all right i don't know we live in modern day but can divorce their weird family lately two years these two have had some very frosty car rides to form several family engagement my goodness he always look either angry or fed up around her yeah mm-hmm okay i guess she should blank if he is in danger <laughs> there's that we will hear the detail of the hawaii trip that nobody knew about yep that's the part that i have about the harry okay not a fan of william and Kate, but will not wish any harm on their marriage uh, but if they're not happy you can be suffer uh, in a loveless marriage didn't he learn anything from his father you know separate and let her live her own life don't try to control her after she decided to move on all right though disappointed by william action and 
in action toward Harry and Meghan and William and Kate cozying with uh, Charles and Camilla but William remains Harry's brother and Diana's son too. There's a prey for William and Kate marriage to as I do Harry and Meghan for all for accountability, healing, reconciliation and truth. Okay that's your prayer but if I don't feel it I'm not gonna pray a damn thing for anybody because this is the thing they wanted for Harry and Meghan but with our prayers we didn't want that to happen all right so I'm done with them now all right now I'm going to Harry next tweet okay quote I was born into a life of duty but it was during my decade in the army that I committed to a life of service end quote Prince Harry the Duke of Sussex all right there's the fire best quote from Harry ever crystal clear bravo there's the clap there's a hot fire clap i love that he made his very important differentiation go harry yeah because over there they didn't really teach him anything what is it even the father's telling him why don't he act like warrior what does warrior supposed to act like okay you're above everybody and then you look at everybody else down okay anybody who's not into his social class should be looking down upon okay but Harry, once he goes into the military, he spoke to a veteran, uh, not veteran, he spoke to uh, uh, those uh, military people and understand the issues that they're going through. So he understand that moment, you know, humble him. Okay, he said that at the Obama Foundation um, thing. All right, so what went wrong? Okay, for whom that is at Prince Harry. All right, let's go to the next tweet. Uh, he made it clear. Let me read that tweet again, that quote again. Quote, I was born into a life of duty, but it was during my decade in the army that I committed to a life of service. This is the thing here. The royal family, the blood royal, they were born into a life of duty. But did they understand what their duty entailed and, and of? Did they cherish it? Did they understand the people's problem for them to help charities? all right you're spending millions of dollars traveling here traveling there you don't try to ration things but you want them to keep on giving you money and then charities is you know closing down and everything you go to a charity all you could give them is a smile i'm sorry we can only come and give words and comfort but we're we are thinking about you the whole time and we really care about what's going on so sometimes it does more than yeah. Wow, well, if we can give you a smile here and there, that's important. So, you know. They never really understand what it is that they're supposed to do. They don't understand their assignment. But Harry has because he went in the military. Did you always embrace this role and responsibility? Um, no, I don't, think, I don't think I understood it. I think, uh, I think, what, uh, I think what happened to my mum probably put me a step back, thinking, well, how could someone who did, did so much for the world and did so much for everybody else could be treated like that by a certain institution. So it's, it, it takes a bit of getting used to, but as I said, you know, it's once, once you understand the privileged position that you're in, you then got to spend the rest of your life earning that privilege and giving back and also gaining the trust and respect of the general public and then using that position for good. They don't understand their assignment but harry has because he went in the military what helped you to understand that position that you were in uh spending 10 years in the military was one <laughs> and what did um, that do for you i think it uh, i wouldn't say it changed my outlook on life but there were certainly experiences that i went through during those 10 years that not only was i surrounded by normal people on a day-to-day -day basis and being able to share and talk about everyday issues that they were going through but it was, it was a grounding moment for me as well. But Harry has because he went in the military. You know, wearing the same uniform as, as all of the people that I was serving with, getting an opportunity to, to, to serve your country uh, on operations, but also being part of a family. And that's not just the, the guys and the girls that were wearing the uniform, but also the, the wives, the girlfriends, the, ch the kids. that whole network of support um, was, 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 was huge. But I think, yeah, I think my understanding of, of service and duty became really, really ingrained, or it was given to me by, by my service in the military. All right, by speaking to people. Next tweet. All right, so there's this here. 
When trader trending, it's quite interesting to see comments about morals. Basically, Harry loving his wife and choosing his family is a sin. The royal family has zero morals. In fact, their sole foundation is, is made of zero morals and that's why they are who they are. Harry and Meghan. All right, so there's me here responding to that. This is end quote. Go back to America. It's pretty straightforward. If you want privacy, go back to America. Pizza. You know, if you want to be private, go back to America and live privately. Pretty straightforward. Bam. They got the privacy they wanted and they are in America. Last year, the UK rejected Harry's wrath. No sensible person in the UK said a thing to defend Harry. What did they expect Harry to do this year? All right? Like, there's this year. Pretty please, pretty please, this kind of thing. And then for them to trash him again. All right? So Harry move on. He doesn't, he didn't do anything. Any kind of gesture in the UK. Because they trashed him last year. All right? I have a whole bunch of, uh, uh, either maybe one or two videos about what happened last year. Okay, it's noise and all ridiculous, tiresome noise. True, there's that, exactly. King Charles the Cool. Okay, removing your wife and family from a racial, predatory, and toxic work environment is definitely treacherous. I will always, I will always protect my family, and now I have a family to protect. Okay, lol. They invent child abuse. Remember the queen that sent her 14-year grandson to Germany. I ask myself, what exactly do they do? They say they serve people in the country, but the country serves them thousands of employees that dress them, cook for them, all paid by government. <laughs> uh uh uh. Let's see. Prince Harry is trending right now. All right, let's go to the next tweet. I don't want to lose track. I want to finish with what I have on my list. It's already 24 minutes into the, this recording. All right, so there's Harry here. Look at Harry and Hawaii for Veterans Day. How sweet. All right, let's look at the pictures. There he is. Nobody knew about it until. All right, until. Yep. So the U.S. more than happy to welcome him. They, just keep in mind as well, during the war in Afghanistan, the U.S. and the U.K. were fighting side by side, okay? So it's not like he's doing anything um, uh, traitor, you know? He's not a traitor. His country was fighting side by side. They were on the same team. So that's the way that I see that. All right, there's this here. And by the way, and now he's a civilian. So he doesn't have, uh, he's not part of a government or anything. So whatever he see is fit to bring peace to things. Hey, he's free to do so. All right, so there's that. <laughs> All right, oh, there's more pictures. I don't even know. Okay, it's the most beautiful and humbling place to visit as a veteran. I got the chance to visit on a work trip. Being there, knowing the full story is moving, and it's even more awesome meeting the veterans from World War II. That was a highlight of my life. Wow, when you look at list, the list of people, even when you go to uh, Washington, D.C., you look at the names of all the people, you're like, my God. Wow. Even um, in 9-11 as well, when you look just the name itself, it <sighs> people that used to live, you know, walk around the earth, all gone. USS Vessel AR-4. Wow, that's nice. Okay, it, was it that when um, Japanese, I think, uh, bombed uh, Pearl Harbor? 
and they turn that into a memorial. Okay, let's see here, Major Wells. Harry is tall. Yeah, Harry is tall, very tall. Look at his long leg. Okay, I hope to go someday. Elvis played a part in 1961 with the charity concert. Thank you, veterans, for your service. Okay, let's go to the next tweet. There's the US and the UK flag. Next tweet. Okay, there's, they're still talking about that. Okay, Harry and Meghan move on with no leaks. Let the meltdown begin. All right, that's the same picture again. There's the, <laughs> the Karens are on the way. There's that. <laughs> the squad or something. Okay, the British media and the morning talk shows tomorrow. <laughs> See, we know the, the routine of staying. Okay, love it, Major Wells. So, if we decided to come here and lay our roof, kick wax on Royal Pretenders on Veterans Remembrance Weekend. Okay, FYI, Veterans Day in the U.S. was Friday. Yeah, the 11th. All right. Uh, I can tell you how much I love that. All right, that's this. I really hope we get a Christmas card photo of them in Hawaii. Can you imagine that? Okay, that would be nice. That would probably be a nice little trip. Yeah. All right. Harry and Hawaii. The British media tried to make it look like as if he was over there. There's a laugh. I love how Harry and Meghan make fools out of the tabloid. There's a laugh. Oh, what was the hashtag? Okay. Sussex still. <laughs> okay. Pearl Harbor. Yes. The USS Arizona Memorial. Yeah. That's true. No leaks. I'm counting for meltdown. Ha ha ha. There's the prey. All right, Lady C was sleeping. Oh, uh, so why are you worrying about that? I don't even, I know she, I'm aware she has a, ch a channel because some of you sometimes uh, tweeted stuff and uh, don't bother watching it if anything. Okay, how anyone listened to that one and falling asleep? I don't know. They pulled tank using the Duke and Duchess title. Uh, was it? Y K? Okay, I don't know. Next tweet. Okay, also about Harry. Okay, I love the way Harry can move freely in the U.S. without having to notify anyone other than his wife. Yep, no leaks. I know, right? Yep. Ha, 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 ha. There's the thumbs up. There's that. All right, so I thought I would see more comments on there, but this was very interesting. Just the tweet itself. All right, next tweet. That's good. I'm moving fast. Okay, how does this work? I thought the Daily Fell already said Americans didn't want to have anything to do with Harry and Meghan. I thought they have to pay money to be giving awards and be invited. How are they paying for this? I thought they were broke and begging Charles to let them return. Okay, there's this here. Okay, Mel on Sunday exclusive. Rich Americans are spending up to $1 million to rub shoulders with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry at Glittering New York Gala. All right, when was that? The 12th. That was two days ago. November 12th. Mm -mm -mm. It's funny. I didn't see much tweet about that. Okay, let's see here. Those clowns obviously can keep their story straight to the core that people will rather meet the Sussexes than their faith. Okay, the whole storyline will be switched when the Cambridges, yeah, Cambridges come later this year. Then it will be a positive to pay to see William and Kate. Clown, sit down. <laughs> The fell is pissed me too. Uh, lies, the daily fell, and all the hateful racist element in the British media wanted us to know that without them, no one in the British royal family can succeed. They are so angry that Harry and Meghan are living happily on their own terms, having cut them out, and it's sweet to see they are miserable. Yep. How much did Americans pay for Anne? She was recently in New York. Okay, I keep on hearing about that because I didn't see anything. Okay, the highest was fifty thousand dollars, and lowest was what a thousand to twenty-five. Okay, I don't know anything about that. We see, please. I don't know anything about that. Guess we wait for the next narrative since this one didn't work. <laughs> Male are jealous of Sussex. I thought no one is interested in them. The fell flips so often. In order to get readers, it could be used as a source of renewable energy. <laughs> oh my lord. Very well said, put my thought exactly. Egg and his mare must be pissed. Those are also the derangers like quote Obama didn't invite them to the party, so they are irrelevant. There's a laugh. 
There's a laugh. Okay, the Daily Fail are constantly attacking this couple with gossip to make money. Certain types of people crave that negativity. The world family could squash some of it, but they won't. Hopefully, it continues to give Harry and Meghan free publicity to prove them wrong. Yep, that's the way it's spinning now. Okay, that's what telling lies all the time do. They just can't keep up with their lies and therefore contradicting themselves at every turn. Okay, also they are irrelevant and unpopular. You left that one out. Uh, Americans know the value of money and will spend it freely on two sincere and dedicated humanitarians, Harry and Meghan. All their lies and prediction of Harry and Meghan's unpopularity have failed to be self-fulfilling prophecy they hope for okay if you have the money and the elite hollywood kingdom you can pay your way to sainthood in their eyes as long as you play by their rules don't put on american people who have our own crap we are going through with inflation we are mere peasant who can't think for themselves all right the fell just can't help themselves seriously how can they be broke they aren't they had Netflix, Spotify, paid Oprah interview. Nah, it, was it Oprah even said they didn't, uh, they didn't pay for the interview. So don't start spending nonsense here. All right. Uh, her money, which she said she had a lot, 25 million from Princess Diana that we only know about. Harry makes speaking engagement that uh, he gets paid for and money invested. Broke my ass. Uh, whoever said they were broke? Okay, I don't know what this means. Ah, this is my last tweet on Harry. And then the next one, I have three tweets for Megan. All right, this one, I posted it on my community board when I was like shutting my computer down and I saw it and I quickly put it on my community board and also on my IG. Okay, oh beautiful. As we all know, Harry was the only one who went to two wars, so he understands and cares about people unlike his racist family. They are only there but as many serial backs medals on their toy soldiers' uniform to feel important, reject this racist. Alright? So I even let me see if I could go. Okay, good. So I could go in that and then read the letter. I did not read the letter. I saw it, but I only took screenshot of it and posted it for you. Because I knew I was going to record. Okay, today on Remembrance Sundays, our members have received a very special letter from Prince Harry. Click to find out more. All right, so let's read some of the comments. So when I'm done reading the letter, I don't have to come back here. Okay, what a lovely letter. That's so lovely. Prince Harry never miss a bit. The Duke of Sussex proving the that service is truly universal once again first time hearing about this organization so noble so poignant so resilient there's that thank you to your parents for service such thoughtful words from prince harry prince harry is the best heart of gold such a moving letter all right so there's more comment but let's go to the letter Okay, a letter from Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex. We are grateful to Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, for supporting Scotty Little Soldiers, the charity for bereaved military children and young people. Scotty's Little Soldiers work to ensure no bereaved military child is left behind and help our young people to remain connected to the military community so they never feel alone. Prince Harry knows November can be a proud but emotional time for bereaved British forces children and he understands what it's like to experience the death of a parent. He has been involved with the charity for several years and today he wrote his special letter for our members at Remembrance. Okay, so that's this 13 November 2022. To all of Scotty's little soldiers, as many of us observe and reflect on Remembrance Sunday, I wanted to write to you and let you know you are all in my thoughts and heart today. We share a bond even without ever meeting one another because we share and having lost a parent. I know firsthand the pain and grief that comes with loss. I want you to know that you are not alone. With different feelings, will come up today as we pay tribute to heroes like your mom and or dad i hope you can find comfort and strength in knowing that their love for you lives and shines on whenever you need a reminder of this i encourage you to lean into your friends at scotty's little soldier one of the ways i've learned to cope has been through community and talking about my grief and i could be more grateful and relieved that 
you have amazing people working beside you throughout your journey. We all know some days are harder than others, but together those days are made easier. Today and every day, I admire and respect all the men and women who have given their lives and service of us, especially those in your family. I am also incredibly proud of you for being the best example and remembering them. When you march together in today's parade, wearing your yellow and black scarves, I know it will be hard, but equally important to do. Today, you will bring new awareness to young people just like you who will benefit from this community of support. I salute you for serving others in need and the most honorable mem memory of your parent. With my deepest respect. Wow. Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex. Wow, wow, wow. This is nice. Okay. So I read the comments already. All right. So let's go. Let me see something. All right, this was that. Did I read the comment of the... Okay, so there was none. All right, now I'm going to Megan's tweet. I only have three of them. All right, so this is about Megan here. Quote, I suggest vitriol once directed at Camilla. It's not unlike that aim at Megan, Duchess of Sussex today. Quote, my husband's African-American. I can't overlook the race issue somewhere in the soul of the people who despise Megan. I'm afraid I think that's an issue. End quote. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Over the decades, Camilla has enjoyed a remarkable reputational reversal. As Charles' mistress, she was one of the most reviled women in Britain. Now, as Queen Consort, she is largely admired for her humor, lengthy service, and solid relationship with the king. I suggest the vitriol once directed at her is not unlike that aim at Meghan, Duchess of Sussex today. Williams believes an extra element of racism is at play there. Quote, my husband's African-American, I can overlook the race issue. Somewhere in the soul of the people who despise Megan, I'm afraid I think that's an issue. William's husband of almost 20 years is Washam Stone, an actor who has appeared in popular TV shows, including Keeping Faith and Black Mirror. The couple have two teenage daughters. All right, let's see here. Oh, so that's them. Okay, quote, when you're an actor, the studio looks after you and it's in their interest to keep you safe. But that's not how it works in the royal family. They're looking after the crown. They're not looking after you. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that. Very interesting. Okay, she wondered whether Megan, as a professional actress, mistakenly thought of the palace and its press operation as comparable to a film studio. Quote, when you are, that's the quote that I just read, that the studio look after you. Okay. All right. Let's see here. This is what I don't understand, the abuse of Megan. If we believe what Dan Wooten says was ordered by the palace, what she's talking about where well, i'll put the clip right now okay so you have an idea what this twitter why she mentioned then wouldn't okay and there's the video much of the negativity towards the couple is coming from within the royal family the royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press Okay, let's start all over. This is what I don't understand, the abuse of Megan. If we believe what Dan Wooten says was ordered by the palace, the palace wanted to destroy her. It's not the general public that started disliking her from nowhere, but she has a point. It's obviously to do with her race, of course. Okay, she's right on all aspects. Yes, I think she's right. Plus, Kate and Camilla are important, essential to the crown. Megan was not. Okay, I see the difference. Charles and William are essential to the crown. Harry is not. So, therefore, Meghan is not. Hence, drilling of the spare. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. They, uh, they look after the white royals, but Sayonara to the mixed race royal because she's their human shield. Money generate and ultimately not part of the limited embryo gene pool. And the thing is that when you look at other uh, royals, okay, there's other ones as well. Even if Harry was the spare, and then they feel like they have to go after Harry and his wife. But what is it? Uh, Anne's son was divorced with his Canadian wife. You don't hear a damn thing. Okay? 
but you know what let me leave that alone whatever next week I thought it was nice to share because it makes the point of what some of the squad are talking about because I don't know she's I don't know if she's a squaddy or not but yeah I know Boris Suda is a squaddy but her finding this to point out I thought it was good to you know share it with you next week this video said it all the young people are today's they pull us across the finish line that saved democracy that's a little bit more about um, politics a little bit okay maybe this should have been last because the u.s like i've said i i wasn't shy um about the u.s problem i don't talk too much about it but i've always said when i point certain things out what's going on in the uk and i occasionally i will say the u.s is going to the same problem okay it's not like we're out of the woods yet and then another point that i made was that um we cannot let this midterm election 2022 be the same thing that happened to president obama the 2010 election okay and then that spiral down until we get uh, trump all right let me let me start this over i had to give you a background so i went full-blown uh politics here okay this video said it all the young people are today they pull us across the finish line they save democracy and refuse to let crazy continue to outweigh the good evil did not win okay let me uh, listen to this but uh, some young people i've heard in florida a lot of young people did not go vote and this is why we have the result of what we have and also out of florida and i think they have a young generation z who won his election as a Democrat. All right, so people need to go vote. I don't know what's going on over here. In this very moment, and for that, so grateful to be in your company today okay there's a music in the background so what i'll do when i was talking before i'll mute well you could read the thing but i'll leave the music on if they decided to flag it because of the music i'll just cut the part that have the music but when i was talking you could see the caption showing this is why megan is such a threat to megas everywhere she has a voice and a message democratic following people listen to her okay that's in french so true all right so let's go to the last one all right so i'm under an hour i'm 46 minutes now all right okay so this is why i put this last because of what happened okay without these two mega royal duo the uk v day got no huge world coverage is as bland as a mashed potato there's the laugh all right so they weren't there so nobody really talk about what went on in the uk i didn't even know well with the exception of the pictures that i showed you at the beginning of this video okay charles didn't as the new king tampon i and no one even noticed him okay yes it seems to have been so unglamorous the black dresses were dead <laughs> all right so that's all i have let me see for notification what are this okay has been saying this okay let's add some more all right i've been saying this what's this all about okay so there's this here royal soda i suggest that okay that's the part that i just read okay it doesn't matter if you're first in line or last in line no one needs to be a threat with excessive vitriol uh, that Meghan and by extension Harry are subject to if the British royal family only cares about the first in line to the throne then they should limit their wives to one child and that's my response to that I've been saying this perhaps their behavior towards pair should make people request one child oh that's supposed to be four. Oh my god when I'm using my phone that's what happened for heirs their behavior or backwards thinking is sick okay so i went over this already i think i did i suggest virtual camilla yeah i did how come i didn't see this my comment on that all right let's go back there's another one okay i went to this so more people is liking go back to america part all right what in the name i went that and that okay so that's it um let's do a uh, prayer prayer for brighter future and success success 
Okay, successful path prayer. Creator God, thank you that you have plans for me that are for my good and your glory. Your words say that you will make all things work together for my good. Please watch over my business, protect me from danger, and lead me on the path to prosperity and success. Success! Okay, let's pick an image. Let's pick that one. Okay, academic success, prayer, overcoming challenges. All powerful Father, please help me in my hard days. When I face challenges during my academic journey, please be present. Help me overcome even the hardest of moments with your strength and perseverance. When I feel dejected or doubtful, please remind me of my worth. When I fail academically, remind me of second chances and your beautiful grace. When I fall down, remind me that you are always there to help me back up. In Jesus' all-powerful name, amen. Uh, right, so that's it. Please, this one was a bit more about uh, schooling and everything. I'll leave it as that. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. All right, so that's it. For me, it's a, an added member of the family. It's, a, it's, a, it's another, another team player as part of the, the bigger team. And you know, for all of us, all we want to do is be able to carry out um, the right engagements, carry out our work, and try and encourage others and the younger generation to be able to see the, the world in the, in the correct sense, rather than um, perhaps being dis having a, a distorted view.